So avocados are finally in season, well at least in Spain, and I believe in most of the northern hemisphere. Anyways, with that being said, today we're going to grab this beautiful fruit and create a delicious dish. We're talking stuffed avocados with a creamy chickpea salad. And let me tell you, not only are these stuffed avocados very healthy for you, but they have so many great flavors to them. They're effortless to put together, and there is absolutely no cooking. Folks serve these stuffed avocados. I really want to say stuffed peppers, <laughs> and that's because a couple videos ago, we just made some. Anyway, serve these stuffed avocados next to a crunchy baguette and an ice cold beer, and you're going to have yourself a delicious and refreshing meal. All right, let's begin by draining a can of chickpeas into a colander and rinsing them under some cold running water. The size of the can that I'm using is just your standard size, which is 15 and a half ounces or 440 grams. Then we'll shake off any of the excess water and transfer the chickpeas into a large bowl. Then we'll add in one container of plain Greek yogurt, which is a little over half a cup or 150 grams. I'm using low fat yogurt here, but you can also use full fat, non-fat, or even a plant-based one. That way you can veganize this recipe. We'll also add in half of a red onion that's been finely chopped. Finely grate in one large clove of garlic. If you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. Half of a red bell pepper that's been finely chopped. And two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. Then we'll squeeze in half a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, which is about eight milliliters. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. For the next step, let's start getting our avocados ready. And when you go to the market to select them, you just give them a gentle squeeze. You're looking for just a bit of softness. If they're way too soft, they're going to be overripe, which means they're going to have brown spots. And if there's no softness at all, they are not ready yet. Either way, if the avocados you find are not ripe, you just add them into a paper bag with a piece of fruit and the following day, they're going to be perfectly ripe. I'm going to start by cutting them in half lengthwise all the way around. Then we'll remove the pit and using a spoon, we'll remove some of the pulp. This is just to make the hole bigger, then we can add more of that chickpea salad in there. Just make sure not to remove too much. You want to leave a nice thick layer on the outside as this is what's going to hold the shell together. Then we'll add in the pulp of the avocado into the bowl with the chickpea salad. And we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those chickpeas apart. Now before we start stuffing the salad into the avocados, make sure to rub each avocado with a little lemon. This is going to ensure that they don't oxidize, which gives them a brown color. And we'll start stuffing the chickpea salad into the avocados, making sure to add a generous portion. And for the final touch, we'll crack in some black pepper over the stuffed avocados. This brings out an incredible flavor in this dish. Check it out, stuffed avocados with a creamy chickpea salad. Easy to make, minutes to put together, and absolutely no cooking. Let's give one of them a try and see how it turned out. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful spring day today and it's kind of warm out there, so you know this is going to hit the spot. Here we go. I'm telling you, the combination of that creamy chickpea salad with the avocados is an explosion of so much goodness. 
And also, you know, you can serve these at room temperature, like I'm eating them, or add them into the fridge. Either way, give these a try at home, especially now when avocados are in season. I promise with that first bite, you are gonna get hooked on these because they are that good. Really quick before I go, I'm gonna shout out to a couple of my patrons, Kelly Lorang, Mary B. Markovich, Michael Makaulai, and Ronald Kemp. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.